forgot to vlog. <laughs> Hi, Mike. <laughs> We're actually going to watch Supernatural since when Supernatural premieres, he's usually working and my dad's out here watching stuff. So we just record it and we watch it later. And since I didn't vlog yesterday, I'll try to vlog a little bit today. But I'm excited to watch Supernatural. It's almost over. I don't want it to end. Oh my gosh. Supernatural is so intense right now. <laughs> There's only three episodes left and I'm like, I'm gonna miss this show so much, oh my god. I decided to sit over here because it was a way that I could display my iPad without having to hold it. And there was a picture of Grace behind me. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> but yeah, no, the, the episode we just watched was like super good. Uh, the whole The whole Supernatural series is just so, it's really amazing. Like, I honestly, if you've never seen it, like, go to Netflix right now and watch all of it. Because the season is almost over, and that means the show itself is almost over 15 seasons. It's really good. I would definitely go check it out. I love this show so much. But yeah, we have three episodes left. Three episodes left, and then it's over. <laughs> Not really, though. I mean, technically... It will live on. I always I keep saying this. I'm like, it will live on forever through the rewatches on Netflix and everything. It's just, it's a brilliant show. It's very well written. There's a lot of interconnected things that just flow well together, and it's really cool. But yeah, I also wanted to show you guys something. I wanted to show you my shirt <laughs> I've been working on. Look at it, guys. The heart's finished. Now I do still want to do a couple things at the middle. I'm considering doing like, like lining it with the neon yellow um, rhinestones and then filling it in with like pink uh, neon rhinestones. I want to see how it looks all together. I have to get more rhinestones, but look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's just taking me so long, but I love it. I'm sure it's like super heavy now, <laughs> but yeah, so. The heart is finished. Now, time to say goodbye to the pumpkins. At least the two on the outside. This guy gets to stay with me forever. <laughs> but they're starting to, starting to, as you can see, his face is kind of getting moldy, which is unfortunate because what I was planning to do was cut them up and like make it see if I could turn into like a little food potter for some animals. But it has all that mold on it. I might just throw it over the bank. We have a bank here. I don't know if I've ever said or showed that. I mean, it's probably been seen somewhere. But yeah, so I'm going to take care of the pumpkins. It's always a sad moment to say goodbye to the pumpkins. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you all kiss, but just on a different side. <laughs> goodbye, pumpkin. <laughs> we'll miss you. And here, Duncan. I'll give you a kiss too, but you're staying with me, don't but don't. I'm, I'm always so sad when like Halloween's over and it's like time to start getting rid of all the stuff. And pumpkins always feel like they're never here long enough, but they also don't last very long once you carve them, so. All right, goodbye, my dear pumpkins. You'll be forever missed. <laughs> I just wanted to show you briefly what I decided to do. I don't want to go too close because there was a squirrel that was over and I just scared him. I'm sorry, squirrel. But yeah, I took one of the, you probably can't see it from here, but I took one of the pieces and like put a platter of rice cakes and, or white sort of rice cakes and peanuts on it. Because I wanted to put fruit on it, but it didn't work. But there was a squirrel just enjoying that. So sorry, squirrel. We can go back to it now. Yeah, so that's kind of what I wanted to do. Again, I would have showed you guys a little bit closer, but there was a squirrel over there. I didn't want to scare him anymore. I moved Duncan inside next to our candy bowl. We clearly did not end up getting any trick-or-treater, so that means we have candy for days and more candy below. <laughs> Yay. It's so bad, though, because it's like, oh, no. I have not... But I will stay away from that candy, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> no siree, I love candy way too much. I always have cravings for candy, so it's like dangerous to have that in the house. And I'm having a little Duncan peek over my shoulder. Hey, hey, hi Duncan the pumpkin. But yeah, so my whole idea originally was 
to, uh, I wanted to put a tray of fruit, like a tray, like make, a, like take a peat side of the pumpkin, like a little bowl almost, and then like put fruit everywhere. We didn't have any fruit right now, like we're, we have to go grocery shopping and stuff, so I just, I had some rice cakes, like little mini rice cakes, and, um, and some peanuts that I put out on the tree, and the little pumpkin tree instead, and clearly a squirrel was enjoying himself. Uh, we couldn't see him because he ran away when I came out. I feel kind of bad about that, but it's okay. I'm sure he'll be back in a second. But yeah, I read somewhere, like I read an article about like using your pumpkins like to give food to nature, which I would always throw it over the bank anyways, but like... In this case, I thought it was cool to kind of set it up and break it into pieces so that, like, if any animals can enjoy that, indulge in that, they can, like, you know, eat what they can from it. Uh, I already put the pumpkin guts out there last time, which still had some seeds in it, and I know that there were some squirrels enjoying that, so. Yay! I love feeding nature. <laughs> Speaking of feeding nature. Oh my gosh, I need to tell you this. This is becoming longer. It's okay, I'll probably end it after this, uh, but I have to share this story. So, over the summer, I always try to, like, put some food out for raccoons, and I've talked about it a little bit in my vlogs. Um, this summer was not as, like, lucky for me, like, this last summer. But, because, you know, raccoons don't actually hibernate. Uh, some people think they do, but they don't. And they sleep longer, but they don't hibernate. So, I had a whole family of raccoons the other night, and I should have vlogged it, but I had to just be in the moment. But there was, like, I'm pretty sure it was a mom and two of the, two kits, but they were older, they were bigger, so it might have been the same one from the summer. And then there was one other, there was one other raccoon that was not part of the family, I could tell, because, like, it was that whole, like, they growl at each other and kind of, like, err, stay away from my food. Um, they do that. <laughs> So I think it was like a total of four, maybe even five raccoons, because I had some that were like going under the deck and like peeking up, but it was hard to like count them all together. And so that was so cool. I, I was able to do that. And I had one of the raccoons eating some crackers within a couple feet of me. That hasn't happened for so long. Like that used to be a thing for me a lot, like to have like that interaction with raccoons, especially when I was a teenager. And every time I came to my dad's, I like fed them. And, again, I try to be careful with it, but, um, and, yeah, so that was a real treat to actually have, like, I had two raccoons come within a few feet of me, because I put some crackers and even some marshmallows, because they have a sweet tooth, okay, and little marshmallows are not too bad for them, so I sometimes give them marshmallows. Only sometimes, I promise. <laughs> and so it was just, it was so cool. It was so cool. Um, to have that experience and maybe if it happens again soon, I can take out the iPad and try to see if I can capture it, but yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this vlog, sort of last minute vlog, because I was like, ooh, I forgot to vlog. Well, here's today instead, and hope we'll see if I can edit it today, and if not, it will be up tomorrow, which is Thursday. But thank you so much for joining me on this vlog, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.